bloody hot here it's like 37. hello beautiful welcome to the united way we are now sunny city of alicante guys in this video i want to tell you guys three development transfer news about manchester united as usual my name is Ralph Dukan. we have some updates here we'll talk about missing green roots updates which uh it seems things are getting more clear now i know in our community we do have a lot of missing green road friends and uh i think most of you will not be really happy with what you i want to say now i will talk uh, about uh sir jim ratcliffe sir jim ratcliffe has come out and giving out uh his opinion about the sales actually we'll talk also about what's going on with manchester united transfers and our opinion and would like you to get involved so please tell us your opinion what you think about manchester united who should um, leave the team at the club uh, we have some information about harry maguire also but yeah let's go straight into it it's a missing green road thing i know most of you have been asking me questions about missing green road if the, because we do have in our community most of the fans here want greenwood to stay i personally would want him to stay but i i became more and more understanding with the situation about his personal mental health staying in manchester united could be a stretch for him because he's a young kid yes he's talented yes i want him to stay but let's go straight with the stories actually uh, from uh, this is a story from uh, laurie whitwell from the athletic who has come out and said that the big the thing the thing is that before this story right manchester united started training we have a game next week wednesday the manchester united team is now training uh, today and we didn't see mason greenwood he wasn't in and that is the big story the big story is manchester united and mason greenwood seems to be not on the same page in terms of where Greenwood's future is for next season. Tell me what you think below. I mean, to write that you like and you want Greenwood to stay doesn't matter, but I think what matters more is the player itself, his future, his mental situation. I, I mean, as time goes on, I get up, I start uh, by getting in board with the fact that United is better for Greenwood to go on loan and build up that not only confidence, physicality, but also, you know, there is this saying that time heals a lot and uh, there are some Manchester United fans who are really gutted with what happened with Greenwood in his best private life. But, uh, you know, justice has come out and made that clear. Everything is okay. So there is no reason for us to be taking things very personal. So, but uh, he is clearly not going to be in Manchester United. It's bloody hot here. It's like 37. Well, but I'm in the beach in a very beautiful neighborhood. So in terms of Greenwood, uh, he will not be a Manchester United player next season. That's clear. All the signs are showing that that will be the case. And I just want to ask you guys, and uh, who is going to replace Greenwood? Who do you guys think? Who do you think Chen Ten Hag who trusts to play on that right-hand side? Is it going to be Mason Mount? Is it going to be going to be Marcus Rashford who isn't, uh, isn't good in the right? Is it going to be Jason Sancho again? But uh, there is a big uh, question we are asking here as United fans and we want you also to get involved with it. So Mason Groon, Laurie Whitwell has come down and just given uh, his opinion about the situation. Well, the news actually is Mason Groon that Ten Hag would like to see Harry Mason Groon play. He, he thinks it's a good quality player. It's not the issue of the player's talent. No, it's not the issue of the player's ability. It's not even the issue, potential. It is more to do about the image of the club Manchester United going in with such a baggage you can call it this way but also the image of the player as well so I think the most uh, average and most uh, rational way is both parts to separate for a season basically we've heard heard, heard uh, discussions Turkish clubs are interested we've heard that the Italians I personally would advise Greenwood to go to Italy the physicality the training of the he can build up his physical state situation very well and become a massive massive star and who knows he might return back to Manchester United also second story yeah which was um sir jim ratcliffe who was spotted in a, a, a book presentation and he was asked a question about manchester united you know united we have over a billion fans it's very easy to understand this united we have over a billion fans so you always meet one or two united fans back here yeah, i've seen a lot of manchester united fans also and uh, also liverpool fan i wouldn't like that but yeah but um, manchester united fan here uh, a lot so he has been asked he said sir jim ratcliffe and he's asked the question about manchester united what is the situation of the sales and he has made it clear that he feels a bit confident about the sale uh, we all know the richest man in the uk is uh capable of doing that but the problem with the fans is he is not ready to buy the full 69 percent of the glazers shares of manchester united because the biggest issue with manchester united fans are the glazers he has nothing to do with sir jim ratcliffe we have nothing to do with whosoever come believe me if you are there if you're ready to buy full sale of manchester united you will be supported by the fans we are not into politics the only issue that most of manchester united fans have been crying day in day out all the channels who do what we do here in this industry is just that we need new owners we need a new beginning 
in a new start and a new investment in Manchester United, someone who will put the club first. But talking about putting the club first, in the statement that was shared out by Stel Jim Ratcliffe, and I wonder why they will lie, he treated Manchester United like just an invest, another investment for him. He thinks they have worked so hard. That was his statement. They worked so hard, and um, he thinks they deserve his, his, his team, the enormous investment team, they deserve to be to be owners of this uh, massive, massive club. So it's it's your position for for you to uh, tell us what you think about such a statement. Does that give a lot of accreditation to, to, to Sir Jim Ratcliffe? Because uh, honestly, in such a situation in which we are now, where clearly, as Sir Jim Ratcliffe uh, noted that they have an NDA, can talk about details of transaction or details about what's going on Manchester United. So it leaves all of us, we are clearly in a limbo. The reason we're in a limbo is because the season will start in less than a month now. We know that United, we haven't done our main main transfers. Yes, Mount has is a Manchester United. We have Sir Jim uh, coming out very confident. We knew for the past two weeks, most of the, the fans, most of the fan channels, Saviso Romano, uh, Laurie Whitwell, James Docker, both of, all of them have the Saudis slightly favorized to buy Manchester United. But Sir Jim comes out and say, you know what? I feel very confident. It's all in the hands of the Glazers. I don't know what you take from this. What I take from this is very simple. Is that, you know, guys, I just think it's very simple. I think the simple decision will be if the Glazers want to stay, they will go for Sir Jim because Sir Jim is offering them 20, I think almost 20%, 19%. Uh, and Sir Jim is taking 51% of Manchester United. And that is why you see Sir Jim doesn't have the full support of fans. We will support him if he's an owner. But at this point of time, Sir Jim doesn't have full support of, of Manchester United fans because we want that full takeover. So let's go straight as this short video continues because I need to go and dive in the beach because uh, it's really hot here. I just looked at the temperature. It was 30, 38, 39 degrees. It's really hot. I'm, I'm really sweat. I'm quite in a very bad situation to be honest desperate situation let me put it this way yeah so that's that's where we are with um, the, the sale the transfer is we know Romano came and confirmed that United didn't haven't yet gone to a bid done a bid for Andres Onana but we know United we're going in for a bid for Andres Onana the way United things work from my his, my experience with United the way someone who has invested a lot in the in the reading and understanding the way the, the, the transfer works with United they always go for a deal when they feel they can actually get a deal so I was a bit worried when I shared the stories because these stories normally are from like the Mirror, the Sun, you know, all the outlets in the UK. Our job is to share it and you guys can, um, you can actually analyze and choose what, uh, I mean, take some of them with a grain of salt. But what is more important here is that Manchester United, we are now trying to get a goalkeeper. David De Gea is no more a, Ma a Manchester United goalkeeper. We are on Andres Onana. David De Gea hasn't gone for a contract. It is, a, I think this is a very important week for all of you who are worried about Manchester United. So stay tuned to the channel because whatever thing comes, in the next five minutes i'm going to get out of the water get give you guys of the beach i'll go to hell from the sea and just jump into my camera send you guys these videos give you the update so please make sure you click the like on the video subscribe to the channel i think that manchester united we have there is a window there is a window of opportunity here for manchester united we have a lot of uh, signings that united could do this season which basically we haven't done yet there are a lot of free signs that united could do so it all depends on how the market shapes as time goes on so guys tell me what you think below I didn't talk about Ari Magwe. <laughs> uh, the biggest problem Magwe is not selling Magwe. The biggest problem is his £200,000 a week uh, salary, which very few clubs will be ready to pay. That should be a lesson. I thought we learned with Sanchez that we have to give progressive salaries. If we cannot offer progressive salaries to Manchester United, which are very lucrative, you know, you come and buy something in the ass it, 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 as time goes on. So Harry Magwe could go to another club. We can, I think they have. There's Chelsea interested, there is Tottenham Hotspur who's interested, but for now we haven't yet had a serious offer for Magway. But I want to ask you guys something, guys. Tell me what's your view about not only Greenwood, leave or stay, but tell me your view about Sir Jim Ratcliffe if you're still loyal to the richest man in Britain. Because most of the fan base here are for Qatar because they know it is full sale. Okay, guys, it's time to go and take a dive. Make sure you subscribe and also share this with everybody. Ciao.